So in the first video we set up our API, we learned the basics of a what a RESTful API is. In the last video, we learned how to actually put it into practice and we generated this token wherever we sent the correct username and password to the server. The API sent us back some JSON with the login token for the user in it. What we're gonna do now is we're going to change the verb on the auth request to a delete one. So now when we have a verb that says delete, what we wanna do is we want to delete the session or the authentication. And in this case, that means to log the user out. So what we'll do is we'll run that. You can see we get 405 method not allowed because at the minute we haven't actually implemented anything other than posting get. We haven't implemented a delete method and we have this error just because a delete request doesn't have a username and a password. So if we just remove the body. So what we'll do is we'll add that delete method. So we'll just copy and paste our else if post paste it in here and we'll change it to delete. Now what we want to do is we want to copy where we're checking for auth because we're going to the same endpoint, we're going to the auth endpoint. And now when we have a delete request and we go to the auth endpoint, we want to delete the session that we're given. So we check for auth. Then what we want to do is check for the token to delete. So to check for the token to delete, what we want to do is we want to say if get token, if is set get token. And it's probably weird that we can use the get variable when we're handling a delete request. But the reason we can use the get variable is because that array will store the parameters in the URL regardless of whether it's a delete request or a get request. So what we're doing is we're checking if token is set and if token is set, then what we're gonna do is delete it from the database. So originally to log the user out, what we did was we had a logout page. And if I drag that in now, you can see here's how we log the user out. We just delete the token from the database. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this, paste it in here and you can see on the logout page, we can delete from all devices or we can delete just from the current device. To keep things simple in this video, I'm just gonna delete from one device because in the social network series, we're probably gonna be modifying this. So I'll keep it simple for now. And uh, what we will do is instead of getting the token from the cookie, what we will do instead is we'll get the token from the get token parameter. And we wanna pass DB query again. And then if the token deletion is successful, what we will do is return some JSON. So we'll just say echo status success and then we will return a HTTP response code and it's going to be 200 which means okay which is the response code you get every time a page is successfully loaded or some action is successfully completed and then if the token variable is not set we'll just return a 400 response code which stands for a bad request and we could return some JSON we could just echo this out as well we could just print error malformed request something like that if we wanted to be more user friendly so now we'll just run this. We'll go to pod, we've got our delete verb set. We run that, now we get error malformed request because we didn't pass the token parameter. So if we say token equals, and I pass in something, some random token, and I hit run, it says success, but it didn't actually work because that token is invalid. So we wanna check the token first. So to check the token, we'll just say if db query, we'll just say select token from login tokens, where token equals token. And we'll just pass this token here. So if that query is true, we'll run all this code. Otherwise, we'll send another HTTP response code and we'll just tell them that the token was invalid. So we'll just print this. We'll say error invalid token. And we'll leave the response code as 400. We can change that whenever we want. That's just up to our personal preference. Whoops, we just have a syntax error. So now if I run that, we get an error. The reason we got that error is because it doesn't match the token in the database. If I refresh, you can see there's the new token in the database. We have to hash the token first. So we actually just forgot to surround our token in SHA1. Run it one more time. Now it says success. And if we go to our database table and refresh, this, sec this last row should be deleted. There you can see it was deleted. Now if I try to run it one more time, it says invalid token because this token was deleted and now it's no longer in our database. So hopefully this short series on creating a simple RESTful API was useful. We're gonna use it in our social network series, which is what this has all been building up to. That's why the example code is our social network series. I'm gonna include cards in the video and links at the end of the video to the social network series, specifically also the parts that we mentioned in this video to make it easier to follow. That's why we use these examples. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Don't forget if you have any questions, my email is francis at But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.